Once upon a time, there was a fish in the ocean. It never left the waters, it never seen any other world. Then came along another fish that came from an aquarium. The new fish shared of the older fish tales about life beyond the waters. The older fish was fascinated by these tales, but turned around and asked, where is the water that you're talking about? It's funny, but the water is not visible when you're fully immersed in it. The same is true about complexity in large organizations. It's everywhere and in everything, and after some time, you forget that it even exists. So, is complexity a problem? And should it be eliminated? As they say in Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, we can't answer this with a simple yes or no. We need to unask and expand the question. Complexity is neither a good thing or a bad thing. It is what it is. It naturally forms as organizations expand in shape, size, and scope. The real problem is not complexity. It's a problem when complexity is not acknowledged and is left undealt with. That's when it takes way too long to get anything done. That's why it's so hard to orient multiple teams and interactions towards the customer. That is when the speed of innovation slows down. Most leaders today now acknowledge that the ability of an organization to take impactful decisions swimming through complexity is the most critical ingredient that determines their speed of innovation. So, is there a science to mapping and managing complexity? Yes, there is. Complexity theory teaches us that it is best represented as a network of interactions. Hence, it is the art and science of orchestrating interconnected networks. Let's talk about why the future belongs to network orchestrators. Let's understand how you can drive outcomes and innovation faster by appreciating the counterintuitive behavior of complex interconnected systems. Let's explore why network orchestration may hold the key to not just handling internal complexity, but also winning in today's marketplace of exploding complexity.